Again, with some stats for you. Over 100,000 rigid bodies. Okay, it just took three hours and 20 minutes. A little long now. But keep in mind, up until this point, the most that we had ever seen was over 14,000, just over 14,000 rigid bodies, and that was across multiple machines. We're doing this on one machine with one GPU. Huge impact to the facility that was assigned. And like I said, we don't do things just for the sake of technology. Um, we started to experiment what we could do with some models from the film that we were working on. visualization enabled us to use this in a film, and that film was Transformers 2, where one of the main scenes at the end has Devastator um, tearing up the top of a pyramid here. Okay, so this was able to give the director a great visualization of what the simulation would look like and how it would perform so you could work on different camera moves. And here's what the final scene looks like. And you'll note the blue lines above and below. Things that are rendered above and below that are the IMAX, because not only are they pushing the limits of what we can do with simulation, they're pushing the boundaries of how much we can render as well. But a great way to get some visualization to the director of an understanding of what was taking place in that film shot, and uh, very happy with it. But we didn't stop.